So I made the mistake. I made the mistake. Good morning. So today is post op day four. Um, I woke up about an hour ago and just walking around super sore when I first wake up. But you can just see super swollen right now especially like in this area now my doctor said he couldn't lipo this area because of the muscle repair so once he once I heal then he's going to go back and do um, some upper lipo in this area for me to get me more flat but it just wasn't um, recommended during the surgery with the muscle repair So this morning, I survived my first coughing attack. That was very painful. So everyone always just recommends to hold like a pillow against your stomach. So that way when you cough, you can squeeze it and apply pressure to your abdomen. Um, so I did that and everything still hurt like a bitch. Wow. I can't shower because I still have my drains. So my back so what I'm gonna do is hold up my drains like this and I'm gonna have my fiance get down in there and clean everything up um, and change my clothes of course a little later I want to go and get my piercings replaced I have three in this ear and this one that needs to be replaced I was able to put these two back in myself but I slept actually for a good amount of time. I slept for six hours and that's the most I've slept since surgery. So that was nice. But I woke up super sore from that. I'm good. Oh, and I wanted to talk about this. This is so weird and funny. But my vagina is so sore. Oh my god. Like, it, like the first two days it was too tender to even touch. Like just the top part. Like the top part in the lips area was like very like sensitive oh and then now it's bruised and I think it's because when he was doing his drawings on me um to mark where you know where everything was going to be he said oh your mom's is a little fatty area and he's like I, I could lipo that and I said hey if if you're gonna do it like included in everything go ahead and just lipo it because I didn't want to have like a fat a fat mons I'm pretty sure he did lipo it but just from like pulling down my stomach and pulling that part up my private area is so tender <laughs> in the car waiting for a hubby and my daughter to get back um we just went to target because we needed some stuff around the house so he ran in there and i also i wanted some starbucks coffee Boo! hi mama did i scare you no <laughs> I haven't had coffee since the day before my surgery, so I want coffee now. Thanks. And then, um, I haven't pooped, so I'm hoping this coffee will do it. Say hi. Hi. I'm laying down. All right, I got a new lip ring. Very cute. Before I had, like, an actual ring that went around my lip, so actually having a stud is so much better. And then... I got a new conch jewelry. I had a hoop in it before, but I sleep on that side and the hoop, it just was like really agitating my ear as it was healing. So having this stud will be so much better. Okay. Um, oh, great news guys, great news guys. I was actually able to go number two finally. So it was day four. You know, I've been taking my stool softener three times a day and I was like, okay, nothing's happening. I was like, let's go get some coffee. So I knew it would do the trick. I was like, okay, I feel something like on the way home. Finally, I was like, okay, like I feel it like it's there, but it's it, like, it just hurts. It doesn't hurt. It just feels like you have no control over your ab muscles right now. So like just trying to find those muscles to push is hard, um, but I was able to do it. And the stool softener made it very easy. Like it was great and I feel better too. So Yes. So that's another suggestion. Start taking stool softeners like even the night before, like be proactive about it before your surgery. Uh, today's day five. It's Sunday, the 24th. And I made the mistake of 
um, being too stream with cutting back on my pain meds. It's about 9.10 and um, I just took the fifth one for today. I don't, I wasn't counting how many pain medications I've been taking. Um, but I definitely feel it right now. Um, cause I'm trying to just cut back. I feel better. So I think maybe five a day will be good until it's gone. Um, so I made the mistake of doing that and I'm like in a lot of pain right now and it's, it's not like horrible, like it's manageable, but just to get up just now to go to the bathroom and just to walk it off, like it's pretty painful. So, so just to clarify everything that I got done, I got a breast lift, a tummy tuck with a muscle repair and 360 lipo and then whatever fat they got from the lipo transferred to my butt. Since I got a muscle repair and tummy tuck, they couldn't take the fat out of the top portion of my abdomen. So they're, after I heal, then they can do that. So I'm definitely going to be going for another round of lipo and I'll see if I can get another transfer to my butt. I don't know. If I even will have enough. Um, the zero gravity chair, um, I didn't say this before because some people are like, oh, can you lay like that? Because I'm getting, you know, BBL and I can't be, like, how are you laying? So I lay on my chair. I have a blanket underneath because I get cold. But I have this, like, cushion thing. Um, one of my clients got it for me, so it's actually been really awesome. So I just put it, like, right underneath my thighs and a little bit of my, you know, the bottom of, of my butt. And that way when I lay back, I'm not laying directly on the fat transfer. So I don't know if you've had any questions about that, but that was okay and allowed by my doctor because I only need to be at like 45 degrees laying down. Now tomorrow I'm really scared because tomorrow's my first day that I'll be by myself and I still can't get up and down by myself. So I'm really nervous. But I think what I'll do is just like make some type of fort couch thing and, you know, just sleep on my couch somehow. Sorry, the quality is so dark. I'm sitting in the dark. But today is day six. It's Monday and I survived my first day by myself. It was really rough. Um, just trying to find a way to get comfortable. Hubby left about a little before 6 a.m. So he got me up. And then I got my daughter up and ready and my mom came and got her and she's going to spend a night with them tonight. So that helps me out because I haven't been clear to drive yet, but I know probably by Wednesday I'm going to have to start driving. Luckily, her school is about seven minutes away and all I have to do is just drive her to school and then hubby can pick her up on the way home. So today was pretty rough, like... Just trying to get comfortable, feed myself, go to the bathroom by myself, get up and down by myself. Um, so I'm definitely really sore right now, but I know, you know, it's just the growing pains. Each day it's something else that's like a little bit sore, something else that's feeling better. So I know every day is just going to get better and better. So.